Hello and welcome back again to another exciting episode of Designing with Hope on Design. Designing for the home, body, and soul. Now, do you desire a high-end look in your home decorative accents, but you just don't have that high-end budget? Well, in this video today, I am going to recreate three high-end decorative home accents from Josh and May, Ballard's, and Pottery Barn. But I'm going to do it on a budget. So, stay tuned. You don't want to miss out. Okay, now the first high-end look that I want to recreate, and that is going to be the Ballard's PE Collection Gym Basket. Now, these are the products that you're going to need in order to recreate that look. You'll need to pick up a vinyl or a plastic basket, and I picked this basket up for the Dollar Tree for only $1. You're also going to need some metal label holders, E6000 glue, and you're also going to need a can of gray matte primer. Now the reason why that I chose the gray matte primer is because once you spray that vinyl basket it's going to give it more of a metal look and it's also going to give an imitation of galvanized zinc and that's the color that is on the Ballard's PE Collection Gym Basket. So now let's go on to the next step. Okay, now in this next step, you would have already spray painted the basket, and then you simply take your label holder, you will add your E6000 glue, and then you will simply add the label holder onto the basket. And there you have created your Ballard's PE Collection Gym Basket. Okay, now my next high-end look-alike I want to recreate, and that is Pottery Barn's Elephant Cheese Board. Now, these are the products you're going to need in order to recreate this look. You're going to need a cutting board or a cheese board. I picked up this cutting board from Ikea. It was only $5, and you're also going to need some elephant hooks or some type of animal hooks. And I picked up both these hooks from Hobby Lobby. They were $5.99 with half off. So now, let me show you how to assemble this Pottery Barn Lookalike Elephant Cheese Board. Now in this next step, you want to take your animal hooks and you want to place them on top of the cheese board. And if you notice right here, I have a hole, so I'm going to make sure that this hook completely covers a hole. And I forgot to tell you that you're going to need your trusty drill in order to recreate this um, Pottery Barn Elephant Cheese Board. Now you want to take your pen because you want to mark where you're going to pre-drill your holes. So just mark it there. And then once you've made your mark, you simply remove the hooks and then you take your trusty drill and I'm not going to cut it on, it's going to be too loud. And you simply do your starter hole. And then you just add the elephant hooks back onto the board. I've inserted the screws, screwed them all in. And because my elephants are dark brown color and the screws I use were silver, I'm going to take a black Sharpie and I'm just going to simply color in over the silver screws to make them disappear into the animal hooks. And then you have created your Pottery Barn Elephant Cheese Board. Okay, now for my third and final high-end look-alike, I want to recreate that Josh and Main Rustic Pedal Stove. Now these are the items that you're going to need in order to recreate that look. You're going to need a circular metal cake pan, and I picked up this cake pan from my local thrift store. You're also going to need your trusty drill. You're also going to need a wooden candlestick, and I picked up that wooden candlestick from Hobby Lobby. And you're also going to need to use that same can of the spray paint gray primer. Now, what you're going to be spray painting with that primer is that wooden candlestick. So now, let's go ahead and go to the next step. Okay, now in this next step, you would have already spray painted your wooden candlestick. Then you want to take your Sharpie and your cake pan. You want to make a mark where you want to pre-drill your hole. Then you simply take your trusty drill, and then you'll go ahead and you'll start to pre-drill your hole. And then you want to have inserted a long screw that is long enough to go through the cake pan, as well as through the wooden candlestick. Then you'll simply screw it tight, and then you have created your Josh and Main Rustic Pedal Stove. 